Here's a quick and simple text effect that looks pretty cool. So here is our image and the text we are going to use. For the text used, make sure it has an outline with the same color as the fill. First thing we need to do is to separate the subject in the photo. We'll start by duplicating the image and then use the Select Object tool to make a quick selection of the subject. This will definitely not be perfect, so let's press the Refine button to fix any issues. As the background of the original image is already red, let's switch to white to see better what is happening. Now with the matte turned on, we can now brush the hair area to make sure that these get masked out correctly. There is a lot of color contamination, so I'll turn on the color decontamination checkbox and keep the output to new decontaminated layer. Once we are happy with the mask, we can press apply and this will create a new pixel layer with our masked object. The hard part is done. We just now need to duplicate the text and move this duplicate to the top of the layer stack. When we now turn off the fill for this top text layer, we get the effect we are looking for. Optionally, we can add an HSL adjustment and move this inside the layer with our separated subject, and then adjust the hue for the red color. This will get rid of the remaining red color contamination, however, the HSL adjustment is now applied to the whole layer. By using the Alter Option key, we can add an empty mask to the HSL adjustment. Now with a white brush, we can brush in the color change for the areas inside the text. Awesome! Here are some optional things we can do. We can offset the text outline, which definitely gives it a different look. Or we can add a fill layer, set its color to red, and move this inside the separated subject layer. When we now change the blend mode of this red fill layer to subtract, we get a nice contrast color for the subject. To make sure this only applies to the image in the text, we can alt or option drag the text layer below and use this as a clipping mask. Pretty cool. Final tip, to make this effect flexible, meaning that we want to be able to change the text, we can make use of linked layers in Affinity. I'll remove the outline and the clipping text and then make a duplicate of the original text. Using the links panel, I can link the text content of the original text to this duplicate meaning that these two text layers will be in sync when the text is changed. There is however a bug in the latest version of Affinity, and even though the vector fill is not linked, it will act as linked. As a workaround, I'll add a fill layer and move this inside the duplicated text. When I change the blend mode of this fill to erase, it will remove the fill of the text, but will keep the outline. Now I can move this text layer to the top and as you can see we get the same effect as before. Finally I need another copy of the text as a clipping layer. As this was already linked the duplicate we create will also be a linked duplicate. Move this to the subject layer as a clipping mask and we are done. Now I can easily change the text and our effect will work without any manual changes. We only link the text content. So if we change the size of one of the text layers, the effect will break. To make sure we can resize and reposition this effect, we can link the transform properties of the text items. After doing that, the effect will work even when we move, resize or change the text. Pretty cool! I hope you liked this video and thanks again for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave and see you in the next video.